So here we have Mr. Forte, six-year-old thoroughbred Oldenburg cross. And um, I, uh, I want to help him today develop a better posture. You know, he is, he's been, he's been uh, really, really um, long in his posture, but also he's really taking a very uh, unsafe posture for the future, not only for tripping and everything else, uh, which he does get kind of trippy, it's just from a health point of view, his back, you know, how he, how he accepts uh, the rider, self-carriage issues. So we have to change it. And I want to ask him to, you know, compress his flexion a little. And the challenge is his immediate reaction to, uh, is to avoid, like he'll try to get above it. He'll try to go faster. And I mean, he'll really pull on it. So, you know, and then you can bring him through all the lateral moves, but he gets into quite a fuss over this. And, and he just, he, he doesn't know, he, I don't think he's trying to be obstinate. I don't think he's, you know, he'll go along like this all day. You know, you can trot him around. He, you know, he'll go fine. But it's it's so long and so trippy and hollow upside down that, you know, we have to get him to change. Um, the canter is really difficult for him. Uh, he's only six, and if he if he continues if, if he if he continues like this, you know, he's not going to make it to eight as a riding horse. 10 lucky i mean the joints in the back and everything would be so bad so it's it's a matter of changing and, you, and and this is a case where you know you don't want to come at him and just you know now you're going to flex different his whole body and way of being is one way so you got to come at him slowly and i want to show you a technique that i'm going to use with him that i'll start and i'm actually going to teach my group this today as well but if I just go here and I start asking him to flex and you know flex his body, not just his head and neck, that's very important, it's not just happening up in front, but his entire body, lift his back, bring his legs underneath him, his hocks, his hind legs. If I do it in this position, his resistance uh, fighting this, which he has a lot of, you know, there'll be like this resistance in my hands, I try to keep my elbows still, but there's still gonna be quite a resistance. So I'm gonna use a technique where I take my hand and I shorten a rein I'm gonna use both hands in this case, and it's, it's a bit of a compromised position from my seat point of view, but it, it offers a steadiness, and it connects my hands to his body, so the reins will move with his body in time with it a little bit, but there's a steadiness in this, and I can kind of push forward down into his uh, wither here, and now I can see if he'll flex. And as I do this, it's important that we don't go on the straight, that I keep a little bend through his body in the right here, and I can just hold this. Now, if, if I go on too long and he doesn't find it, and I'm trying to use my lower leg, you know, here to get it, to lift his back, there's a try of it. That's actually one of the, I've been doing this for about 10 minutes and he hasn't hardly given me a try at the walk. I'll let him out. Just so that he has the idea that, you know, he doesn't have to just like put up with me here. He could actually give a bit of a, a flexion and a bit of a, uh, a softness to the bridle here. And a nice thing about this is if he does soften, like let's go to the halt. This is where he can do it, or the backup, say. So we'll just bring him into a backup there. He can flex right there. So in that case, I could probably sit up and it's not, you know, there's no, no fight with my hands. So I don't have to worry about being gray to him. I want it to be black and white. If he puts slack in, he picks himself up, he gets slack. Um, he doesn't have to have this high, you know, pushing contact. It's in the forward movement where it's really challenging. So today my goal is, is to play with him here, teach these lessons and, and describe to or kind of show him, I guess, you know, if I can, that he can take another posture in movement. So at the walk, I fix these hands, push my thumbs over. He's, you know, kind of not paying attention. He's such poor posture. He, he literally at the walk, I feel like he's going to just almost roll up into a ball and, and fall down or something. So if he can't do it here, I can bring him to the halt. I can ask him to flex there, ask him to back up, take his front end around and start doing some little articulations with him, hold that posture a little and say, yeah, that's what we're trying for. You can let all this go. Now we absolutely know he is sound. He's, he's got a, a wonderful owner who knows soundness. She's a veterinarian. She's like, you know, knows all the chiropractic stuff. So care is not the issue here. Um, we don't have, we've got a, a nice uh, little bit of tongue relief in there. It's not a snaffle where it's going to pinch his uh, bars or anything like that. So it's about as good a deal as he can get. Now he's just green and has to learn this. And I can't just get to kicking and pulling for him to get it. 
he has to learn to soften and let go of those joints here. So that's kind of getting there a little bit. It's the thought of it. I'm going to bring him to the stop and see here. Can you, can you come to this? right there without backing up this time right there and now see how he gives himself slack so then i can maybe sit up see if i can get him to without backing up this time as soon as your hands come off there's like a, a wiggle between you and it's less steady so when they're at learning curve it's better to have your fixed hands here there you go but not backwards see buddy there's something there there like that you can learn to do that. And not we're not eating. Now let's try to pick it up with a walk. So we're gonna go for the walk and we'll start again here. So close this up. And if it doesn't work at the back up, it doesn't work at the halt, it doesn't work at the walk, it's not gonna work at the trot. You know, you can't just head up in the trot and start this with him. It's too much speed, and with speed comes that brace. So if I can get even a moment here where he's gonna think maybe I could give. I'll be pretty happy about that. We just have to slowly, there you go, slowly build this in Forte's repertoire, taking a different, a, a give and a different grouping of muscles here, movements. There you go. Kind of a softness. I'm just going to try to let him out as soon as he gives me a little bit. Maybe I can bring him to the stop and try to relate that lesson like that. And you know your timing is right is if you do this and one of the, the things that you know, especially when we start into more movement That's a nice sigh. You know the timing is right is when if you let it go and they stretch But if you let it go and they they pop, you know that they were inflection thinking up Hollow right where we want them In this way and picking their picking their backs up to hold us right now He's kind of like this and we keep riding He'll go like this like this like this and his back will hammock and his back will get sore and all these things will happen So we have to make him get to where he's like a bow and he's holding us here and We're up on here. We're like a little maybe one day like a little flea, you know We're we're up here and he if we feel like you know, he's so strong. He just holds us up So it's a good starting point. That will be our day today. We're just gonna build on that I wanted to take a second to jump in and invite you to our newsletter. It's fun, it's free, we offer horsemanship tips, it's easy to cancel, we don't overwhelm your inbox. I've had thousands of people go through my program and this is a great way to start learning how to be better with horses from wherever you're at. So join me, go to jonathanfieldhorsemanship.com and uh, join our newsletter, check out and see if there's something there for interest for you. And remember, stay inspired by horses. Atta boy. So I was kind of happy with him here because I just stopped pause for a sec and got my mic on for my group and I walked him back out here at the walk and he's kind of starting to think about as an option I could give and and you're not going to get him to give through the back and you know all of that before he gives through the pole and then through the neck and then through the shoulder here he has he feels great relief when he let it out he's like oh thank goodness and we want to get him to the point where that's not such a, a stressful thing to, to do this and he understands it you know one thing with Forte I don't feel there's a lick of obstinance in here you know it's just I literally think he doesn't know he has not been taught this and um, and as we gather it here just slowly kind of there see that that's the first actual I'll take that for a sec that's the first actual um, kind of give that I felt him take the slack off and go oh I could do that for myself <laughs> yes and these things, you know, we, we tend to get in our disciplines and start kicking and pulling and grinding on and tying their heads down. I love this way because there's feel, I can let it out, I'm part of it. And as my hands are on the horse, you know, look at him soften there. He's starting to play with that a little bit. Now he's up above and then he put tension on his, on his, on the bit himself. And now he, I'll get him turned here. You can see he's taking the tension off and I'll let him out. And then if he wants to let out and stretch, that's the habit I want to develop in him, that he can let that out and then decide to stretch down. So at this time, uh, I'm going to do both hands on him to really secure the reins and be absolutely crystal clear to him. And then eventually I can take one hand off. And of course, eventually I can sit back up on the saddle there. Right away he came to it on this little arc circle here. And the penny is beginning to... To drop which feels really good let's take him on the right rein 
See if he can do that. And I have to move his shoulders and ribs over. And that takes his shoulders out of the way. So they're not kind of falling in up against his jaw, up against the inside rein. So I keep him shoulders and everything out of the way there. Forward, bud, forward. See if he can give. And then obviously he works pretty well with a nice break. So we'll give him another break. Cause that was amazing how just in that minute, you know, uh, just a second, you know, let him put my mic on and walked out and he goes, oh, like this? Yeah. I'm gonna try into the trot here. The walk is starting to actually get a little bit. And just attempting into the trot, just to add a little extra, maybe help me make the walk better. So there's a little bit of the walk, a nice softening. No, no. Ask him up. Boy, he can pull at the walk, at the trot, I mean. I mean, he is pulling. That is unbelievable. The back is hollows and, and he is yarding on that. Just hold him, bend him through this. Wow. Okay, Forte, that can't happen, buddy. I'll try to get a little idea of it. Maybe I'll bring him up into this trot. He's just very good, you know, pulling. I'll take him to the walk and maybe he'll find it. There you go. No. There's an idea of it in here. If I have to go to the back up, I will. Hang in there. There. It's like in there. See, that's it, buddy. That's kind of what we're looking for. Wow. That trot is committed to... Uh, <sighs> Try again. Forward is a key. I mean, he, he, you got to have forward. You got to have responsiveness to go forward. Okay, we're getting at the walk. Wow. Forte. He just like almost grabs a hold of it. It's not going to help, man. I got to take him off here lateral a couple of move that around a bit here push that over that's not the way to go bud and push this over the shoulders supple him a little here no no none of that he's sucking back he's sucking back that's bad stuff push the shoulders over push these he's trying to just outrun it and just take off these shoulders over so stiff now back to this trot there that's a little better let's let him off just for a sec now ask him again Like it's not much better flexion, but at least it's not hauling on my hands so bad. Just obstinate on it. It's thick on it. I know you don't think you can now. Oh. Off to the side. There's a spot in here. Work some of these angles through the shoulders with a bit of flexion. Left bend, counter turn. A right bend, counter. Don't take off, man. Where are you going here? He tries to outrun any lateral request, any flexion request. And then now he's trying to. So you got to be careful. They get locked like this. They rear so fast you can't even blink. They rear so fast they flip over something silly because they get thinking there's absolutely no idea of what you're looking for. It's just not been part of his repertoire here. There you go, that's an idea. It's in there. Give me another one. This time I'll try to fix one hand, steer him with the other. It's in here somewhere. It's in, it's in here.
it's here. You can hold that in there like that. There's an idea, buddy. That's an idea. Can I take the hind around into the back up? Work some of these. Take the four quarters around now. Open this. Hold that flexion a little bit. You have it maintain a bit of that. Come on. No, no, no. Not backwards. Walk into there. Now maybe I can fix one hand, leave the other. He, 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 when he pushes his ribs at me like that, I'll just touch him with my spur and just tell him, no, no, tickle your back up. Touch him with the spur right there, there. There, there, like that. So the trot is gonna need some work, but we just have to go up, touch the trot, run into a little trouble with it, come back to the walk, reestablish a bit of that flexion, the give, and then, then give him a break. I think that's what we'll stop for a sec.